I'm Clifford and Twinkle, where we help those who teach. Today, we're going to learn all about Pride and the LGBTQ plus community in light of Pride Month that takes place every June. But what exactly does LGBTQ plus stands for? Well, LGBTQ plus stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning, and all the other identities in between. If you're looking to teach your child about the LGBTQ plus community, we have the perfect video lesson for you. This understanding what LGBTQ plus means, video lesson, made by Twinkle teacher Ashley. Ashley will take you through every single sexuality and gender identity while playing an interactive game. But what exactly is Pride? And why do we celebrate it? Why do we need it? Well, it's important to remember that the LGBTQ plus community was discriminated against and still are in some parts of the world. In fact, in over 70 countries, being gay is illegal and it's actually punishable by death in 11 of them. So we need a month to remind people that it's okay to be who we are and it's okay to love whoever we want to love and be of any gender identity we feel it's right for us. If you're trying to teach your child about discrimination, we have a great resource for you. This Discriminations versus Equality video lesson made by Twinkle teacher Ashley. Ashley will help you teach about discrimination in a child-friendly manner. But how did Pride start? Pride started in 1969 when LGBTQ people rioted against the police raid of the Stonewall Inn in New York. The Stonewall Inn was one of the few places where LGBTQ plus people could be themselves. After that riot, a massive Pride March took place in New York and that was the first Pride March that gave birth to all of the other Pride Marches that take place every June all over the world. If you've ever been to a Pride Parade, you might have seen many different people, from adults to children. Why not take this opportunity to teach your child all about the different families that they might encounter in their life? Team Twinkle teacher Catherine will read you a fascinating story in the Celebrating Different Families video lesson about the joy of diversity. And if you would like to go a little bit more in depth, we also have this Diversity and Different Families video lesson, where your child will engage in some art activities to celebrate their own family. When you think about Pride and when you think about the LGBTQ plus community, what do you normally think of? Well, I personally think about the rainbow flag also known as the Pride Flag. The Pride Flag was created first in 1978 and it was made up of eight colours. However, due to a shortages of some of the fabrics, especially the hot pink colour, the flag was then made up of six colours and since then it was popular from 1979. But you might have also seen this variation of the flag. This flag represents how the movement is going forward and it also includes marginalised people of colour, transgender people and those affected by HIV and AIDS. But there are also many other flags to represent each sexuality and gender identity. Let's take a look at some of them. This is the transgender flag which was first made in 1999. This is the bisexual flag which was first made in 1998. And this is the non-binary flag first made in 2014. Now that you know all about the flag, it's time to get engaged with some arts and crafts. Why not check out our LGBTQ plus rainbow activity where your children will create rainbow flags to wave at the very own pride parade in their city. You could also engage your smaller children in some rainbow colour sorting activity. Well, now you know all about the LGBTQ plus community and pride. Why not let your children make some of the arts and crafts in those video lessons while you teach them about the LGBTQ plus community. In this way, your children will be engaged and also they have a higher chance to retain information. Now you're all set. Until next time, bye for now!